11, Olivia Anderson, as it is Essendon's Audrey Osler, who gets us underway this afternoon. It's continuing called the United side, number 12, Alicia I. Royals players lurking. Oh, high interception. Pressure on here. A bit of confusion at the back. And it's great work from the Royals. A penalty is given. Kendra Smith. It was fantastic work from the Kiwi to win the ball, to get in the penalty area. She was brought down by Chanel Camilleri. Essendon Royals, the early lead against Calder United. Whistler against Camilleri. Well taken penalty from Audrey Osler right into the bottom corner. That is 1-0 to the Royals. They've applied the pressure to Calder. They've made it count. And it's the home side who have the lead. Cut out by Vlanic. And again, Essendon winning it high. Yeah. On the way back and now wide. Ava Grober. Ball in. It's come all the way to Osler. She'll play it back in a shot from distance from Smith. Saved by Camilleri. Me up. Lovely reverse ball to Emma Robers. Robers will square it. Osler makes it to Audrey Osler has her brace. And the home side, after dominating for so much of this first half, are two goals to the good. Shimizu back central. This is better. Brightus intercepted by Smith. And now there's a 2v2 if they can find it. Ball going all the way through to Ava Grober, who finds Audrey Osler. Osler turns and doesn't give herself the opportunity for the hat trick. She'll play it all the way back to Smith. Happy to retain possession here, the Royals. Vlanic, nice little one two with Osler. Grober, Yana and Mia. Robers, and Osler for the hat trick! That is the best of the lot from Audrey Osler. The 19-year-old with a first half stunner. And it is the Essendon Royals who are now three goals up against Colby United. As calm as you like. It's able to play it back to her centre back. And there's half time here at Cross Keys Reserve. Calder United's Emma Langley who gets us back underway. Calder United, of course, in their green and black kit. And LWA gold medalist. So he knows how to find the back of the net. Calder United will be hoping that she can do so in the second half. Smith, great touch. Kendra Smith still going, takes the strike from distance. In this half, you can see that They've come out with a real intent. Of course, intent is one thing, execution is another. Here's Osla. Audrey Osla cutting inside, shoots on her left this time, saves and cleared away by Todorova. She would. Ooh, almost an interception from Grober. You can hear the groans of the crowd. Playing with fire near Calder. Rovers, Vlanich. Vlanich looking for Osler. Can she get a touch here, Audrey Osler? She does. But brings the keeper down. Does she? In fact, it has been ruled a goal. Calder United players cannot believe it. And Audrey Osler has four. Central to Connolly. And to 
intercepted by Robers. Emma Robers, Duralis. Leona Amia. She's got Sato behind her. She'll take that option. Wanich. Whipping in a ball of quality on the left, a header from Sutcliffe. And a good save from Camilleri. Wanich takes the free kick. Chased down by Osla. Ball in from Rampal. The header from Dural is into the path of Sardo, who goes to ground. And it's a second penalty for the Royals. Julia Sardo was fouled. Second penalty and her fifth goal of the match against Camilleri once more. Well, the ball's rolled off the mark, so she'll have to wait, we'll have to wait. Goes back to her mark. Osla makes it five. Well, a tremendous performance from the youngster. Her second penalty of the game, her fifth goal of the match. And after all of that, it is Colter United with the corner. And take it short. Ball delivered in. Dangerous looking. And it's flown all the way in. An astounding strike from distance from absolutely nothing. The thing is she tried to get up. She's maybe slightly limping. And difficult for a keeper on a day like today. You need to stay warm. Oh, that's a lovely threaded ball through and behind for Jennifer Lum. Mason Jones comes out and parries it away just about. And Lum has her shot cleared off the line. And over the top. And for the run of Sturton, who goes to ground. The referee blows the whistle. 24-year-old up against Mason Jones. Takes a deep breath and slots it away. A very well-taken penalty from Akeisha Sandu. Called the United, grab the ball, run back to halfway. To the Royals. Well, full-time... At Cross Keys Reserve, it is the Essendon Royals who come out 5-2 victors.